Ever wondered if your Maltese Terrier is secretly a royal in disguise, given their posh and pristine appearance? I mean, they do strut around with such grace and poise as if they're ready to attend a royal ball, don't they? These little fur balls with their luxurious silky white coats could easily pass off as the most adorable aristocrats in the doggy kingdom. So are you ready to delve into the realm of these regal canines? Well, buckle up as we take a humour-filled ride into the world of Maltese Terriers. So, what's with the royal look? Are Maltese Terriers descendants of some royal dogs? Well, let's stroll down the corridors of time. The Maltese Terrier, you see, is an ancient breed with a history as luxurious as their silky coats. Originating from the island of Malta, these dogs were bred for the laps of nobility, quite literally. Picture this. A Maltese terrier lounging around in the laps of Roman matrons or trotting along the grand corridors of Emperor Claudius's palace. Not too shabby, eh? They were essentially the living, breathing, barking accessories of the high and mighty. Their primary job? To look adorable and keep their royal companions entertained. They were the jesters of the canine world, if you will. So the next time your Maltese terrier struts around your living room like it's a royal court, don't be too surprised. Yes, they might act like they own the place because, well, they kind of did. Just like royals, Maltese terriers come with their own set of pros and cons, or as I like to call it, the good, the bad and the fluffy. Let's dive right in, shall we? First, the good. These little charmers have a lifespan that rivals many larger breeds, often living up to 15 years. They stand at a petite 7 to 10 inches tall and weigh a mere 4 to 7 pounds, the perfect size to fit into your handbag or your heart. And their temperament? Let's just say they're the life of the party, always ready to play or snuggle up on the couch. Now, for the bad. Their diet can be a bit specific, with a preference for high-quality, small-breed dog food and while their exercise needs are minimal, they have a surprising amount of energy. So, be prepared for spontaneous bursts of zoomies. They can also be a bit stubborn when it comes to training, but with a bit of patience and a lot of treats, they'll be sitting and staying in no time. And, oh, the health problems. They're prone to dental issues, luxating patella and heart problems. But don't let that scare you away. Regular vet checkups can keep these issues in check. Now, let's talk about the fluffy. Their silky white coats are a sight to behold, but they require daily brushing to prevent matting. They're also not the best choice for allergy sufferers, but let's be honest, who could resist that fluffy face? And while they're not exactly guard dog material, they make excellent alarm systems, alerting you to the arrival of the mailman, the neighbor's cat, or a leaf blowing in the wind. So if you're up for a fluffy challenge, a Maltese terrier is your perfect match. They might be small, but they have enough personality to fill a mansion. And remember, every dog has its quirks, but that's part of the charm. After all, who wants a boring dog? Uh, now you might be thinking, but can my Maltese Terrier protect my castle? Well, let's shed some light on that, shall we? Maltese Terriers are known for their affectionate nature, making them excellent family dogs. They adore being the center of attention and are always up for a good cuddle. Now, when it comes to kids and other pets, these little fur balls are quite sociable. However, they can be a tad overprotective, which means you might have to play the peacekeeper on occasion. As for space, they're more than happy to call your apartment their kingdom. Yes, a backyard is nice, but these royal subjects are perfectly content ruling over a smaller dominion. When it comes to guard dog duties, well, let's just say they're more likely to smother intruders with kisses than fend them off with fierce barks. So, while they might not be the best at guarding your castle, they sure do make it look good. Owning a Maltese Terrier might not require a royal budget, but it does come with its own costs. Imagine this. You're not just buying a dog. You're investing in a fluffy, pint-sized, barky bundle of joy. From the initial purchase to the gourmet dog food, Yes, they have a taste for the finer things. To the regular grooming sessions, it all adds up. But remember, every penny spent equals a wagging tail. So if you're okay with a few extra costs for a whole lot of fluff, a Maltese Terrier is a great choice. Well, that's the royal tour for you. Still think your Maltese Terrier might be a royal? We've covered everything from their regal roots, fluffy quirks, to the royal budget. If you enjoyed this royal tour, 
Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. After all, even YouTube channels need loyal subjects.